Hello traders and welcome to NOF's weekly trade highlight. In a moment, you'll see us recreate one of the best trades of the week with NOF's order flow and market profiling tools along with detailed trade commentary with NOF trade tactics. Our weekly trade highlight is brought to you by one of our own NOFT traders who, in between assisting traders and taking the next step in their careers, provides weekly and daily guidance in our live trading room every single day. Before we get into this week's highlighted trade, we need to remind you that trading does carry significant risk, and all information in this video is just provided for educational purposes only and is not an offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or Forex. From everyone here at NOFT, Good hunting out there and happy trading. Hello traders, for this weekly trade highlight, we're going to go ahead and talk about the trade that actually happened on the last day of the week, so actually today on uh, April 6th. Uh, there's a couple competitions for trade of the week uh, this week and we're uh, going to pick one, but um, another one at the beginning of the week, but today was actually pretty good context, pretty uh, easy trade to see here in the market. So I'll uh, we'll go ahead and highlight that. It's going to be on April 6th here. It's going to be uh, the 10... Around the 1030, <clears throat> not the exact high here, about the lower high, about 1030 uh, here in the charts. If you want to follow along, uh, just to remind you guys, uh, we have the um, uh, volume composites. Uh, we do a lot of volume analysis here, so you see uh, static uh, volume profiles that gives you full volume profiles on the day, and a volume at price that gives you uh, a dynamic uh, volume profile on the day as well, on uh, the current day, I should say. Uh, down here in the bottom left, we have our volume composite, giving us a long-term view of the uh, volume uh, profile of this market. And uh, you can see here, uh, again, in a longer term, on just a 30-minute chart, uh, the high that we're taking a look at today. Let's go ahead and open up order flow here. And you can see the high, the exact high, around uh, right before 10 o'clock here. We're actually getting, switching it up on you today, uh, looking at a range chart instead of a minute chart uh, to give you a uh, diversity of options here and get, show you how it works on uh, multiple different uh, types of uh, chart setups here. Uh, as you can see, it's not the exact high right there at 10 o'clock, but it is this lower high. And uh, as you can see here, uh, looking at the just looking at the location, we are at a VRL. This is a volume rejection level. It's a, a level uh, found by our head trader uh, that goes ahead and uh, finds levels on his chart. And as soon as he adjusts it, it automatically adjusts in your chart. So we're trading that level here today. Uh, got a nice, really nice lower high there. They're also above value here, so you can see uh, this is the volume at price here once again, and this blue area right here is telling us that it is above value here, so this is our shorting opportunity uh, here in the market. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the setup here. Uh, with the footprint, you have uh, very simply, you have the buyers, uh, executed buy orders coming in on the right side, executed sell orders coming in on the left side. When you see um, the red numbers here, that just means aggressive selling at a price level where uh, sellers are really coming in and dominating. Uh, you see buyers here on the blue number here. Uh, just, it shows buyer aggression where the buyers really come in on the buy side. On the top here, you have uh, Delta. Just get, adds up all the buy orders versus the uh, sell orders here and gives you a number. When you see a negative number, that means sellers dominated the candle. Or when you see a positive number, like the 1721 or this 498, that means buyers dominated the candle. Uh, for the most part, it will match up with the candle. So you see negative 373, so sellers dominated the candles as you would expect. Uh, but every once in a while, you'll see the opposite, like you have up here in the top left-hand corner, where you actually see buyers. A little bit of buyers actually here, and the candle still left over, and it's actually a sell candle. So every once in a while, you'll get that uh, little bit of a change. I can, you can see here again, uh, sellers dominating a buy candle, and we had a resumption of the, uh, the move down. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this candle. Again, we are above value. We're in an expensive area. We're looking to, a, to short here at a trade location. And if you take a look at this candle, uh, this setup here, again on a 10 range chart in the ES, uh, pretty interesting setup here. You actually have sellers responding pretty heavily. Still got buyers responding here as well. And you have a, a setup that I really like, this gray area right here. This is the highest volume point here in the candle. And it is actually outside of the close of this candle as a naked COT. Really like that setup. And uh, we got a double top actually right here. Uh, actually a little bit of a lower high. Uh, but you saw price really spike back into this area here, and this would be a good enough candle to short, but this one is even. If you didn't get it there, great second opportunity here. Sellers really coming in in a big way and dominating this candle. And you see this red box here. Uh, you can see that there's 491 buyers, 433, 224, 177, 66, and 38. So buyers are actually coming out of this market. We call this a sequential decline because buyers are, are uh, declining as price is going higher. 
Uh, so really great signal here. You actually got a little bit of a clue of that here earlier, but at five different, six different price levels, buyers are coming out and sellers are actually responding here in a big way. Picked out this trade on the day because, uh, as you can see here, got to the next candle and really got uh, your answer here pretty quick. Uh, picked up some momentum here. Sellers really dominating this candle and sellers really controlling this market here. And um, pretty easy trade to manage. Let's go ahead and go forward or back into the value area where most of the transactions are occurring. And this is pink area here. Uh, initial target is right down here in this VRL. And you can see we got there pretty quickly here. Uh, you want to go ahead and read the context once you get there and you get exactly what you'd expect. Uh, we are actually, this dotted line right through here is called the point of control. So this is the highest volume point on the day so far. And um, it's exactly what you'd expect to happen here. You see price really starting to pause. You see buyers really coming in. Sellers uh, still responding here and coming right back and pushing this uh, uh, lower. So we had a few traders come out here. Um, really good initial target. Uh, but we have the resumption of the trend. Again, nothing but red numbers here. Sellers just dominating this market here. Uh, until you start getting down here, now we are in this uh, another blue area, which is below value or it's cheap. And you can see that price is really starting to pause here. And you have, after you see all these buyers really start to come in, um, if you have nerves to steal, you could, after a profit like that, you could certainly hold on to this and look for that double bottom. We're getting down here once again, and buyers are starting to respond here. Again, so no, it's a great place to go ahead and cover. You traded it from a high value area, an overvalued area, to now an undervalued area or below value area. And um, you're getting really getting buyers uh, to respond here. See how this trade ended up. Uh, yeah, moved up here a little bit more and then resu resumed the downtrend. So uh, that was um, our trade of the week. Uh, pretty easy signal to see here. Um, pretty um, easy one to go ahead and execute. Really easy one to manage. I uh, certainly could have made quite a few ticks out of this one, even if you cover here and even more down here. Uh, could have really a trade could have really uh, made your week here. So really good, uh, great trade to highlight for the week. I hope everyone enjoyed that. I hope you have a great week next week. Please visit us at www.knock-traders.com, and we'll see you guys next week. Take care.